Hey, this is Terry, and in this video I just want to very briefly show you how the Prisma control and connectivity technology allows you to be able to control on virtually any device you might be using, and in fact move from one device to another to another, in fact where multiple people can be accessing the system at the same time. Um, and what I mean by that is this. So let's assume that I'm working here from home, I might be in the office in the other room, uh, I want to listen to something on my i35 Prisma. And so I'll just simply go into Spotify, for example, and I will press play. My i35 Prisma will wake from standby and select the input I'm selected and begin to play. Now, let's say that, that I'm done working, thankfully, and I want to go a little bit mobile, and so I will pick up my tablet. And the minute I open it up, I see that I'm already streaming. I've got control, I've got access immediately. I don't need to really open anything, do anything. I can hit the track advance, and I'm listening to another song. Let's say that even this is too much for me to bear. As far as weight goes, I move to my mobile device, and again, any of the streaming services are accessible on any mobile platform, your phone, your tablet. It's only the Prisma app uh, that's on tablet at the present. It'll be on phone in the future. But here again, in the phone, I've got that immediate screening app. I can open things up. I can go actually in deeper into the complete Spotify control network. Um, and in fact, now that I'm on my phone, I can actually use my Kronenberg connected watch. This is a, a watch company here in Melma, and they do these beautiful analog facing watches that actually have connected technology in them. So I can actually just hit this button on the side and the music will stop. I can hit it again and the music will begin to play. Now, I can also hit any of these buttons in a variety of ways to raise and lower the volume. I can track advance, I can track rewind. All of this available from a connected watch. Now, let's just say that at a certain point, I don't want to listen to digital anymore. I've got the album on the turntable, it's spinning, and I just want to do a needle drop. And here again, we've got select that will select now the R15 phono stage that I'm testing, which is why that input says test. And so it automatically went from all of the streaming service connection and gave me my input for the turntable. Now, let's say that even that level of connectivity is not easy enough for me. And so what I want to do is use voice control from Google Home with Google Assistant. And so what I can say is, hey Google, play Terry's Huga playlist. Spotify playlist called Terry's Hugo Playlist on i35 Prisma. And we're playing Terry's Hugo Playlist. Now, I can raise and lower the volume here as well. Hey Google, lower the volume. I have to answer the phone. Now, I could have done that with my watch as well, but in this case, maybe just easier to speak. And then if I want to raise the volume, hey Google, raise the volume. Hey Google, pause. Hey Google, play. Now, the interesting thing about voice control is that it's the one feature on this product that seems to allow the entire household to get involved in listening to great music where they otherwise would not have touched the system. And that's really true of all the different platforms that I've spoken about here. Regardless of how anyone wants to connect with the system, whether it's their laptop, their iPad, their mobile device, voice control, or, or play an album on the turntable, all of those can be easily accessed and as simply as it possibly can be. In other words, when I did the needle drop, I didn't even have to touch the amplifier to have that input selected. So, for more information about the Prisma platform and all of our products, go to primary.net.